Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Manjaro Linux from the net install 64-bit edition. I have it in VirtualBox right here and um, just going through the easy stuff. Manjaro has a nice wiki and believe me I don't have all this stuff memorized. Oh, the wiki will help me, but it's really easy. So, uh, it should be just Manjaro and then Manjaro. Yep. Pseudo setup. And you're in the installer, just like if you were to download the full ISO. Welcome. So basically, you just go through everything. Select everything that works for you. Just going to do auto. XT4 is good. Based the whole disk, yes. And let's let it do its thing. Yay! Install the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install XFlice with LXDM Manager. And people do this just so that they know what they have installed on their system, nothing extra. I don't think this comes with even Flash installed, so you're going to have to install everything, I think. But hey, that's something to test, right? I'm just going to pause the video here. Wait till it's done. Oh wait, it's done. <laughs> Never mind. Just quick continue. Configuring the audio. Alright, I'm going to pause right here. It's installing my video drivers now. Configuring system D. Fixing some applications. Configure the system. Reboot. 
root password, change your root password. Set up user. Just do ant. Yes, pseudo writes. Password for ant. You can change the locale or key map or configure system, but I'm not going to do that. So now it's just going to generate all that stuff. building the kernel right now and now it's time to install grub and fault settings are good for this pretty soon will be done yes installation complete reboot And uh, let's boot an existing OS, which is Manjo. Right now, it's just all command line. So log in with your uh, name there. So now, here's the fun part. What we do it to install xvice is do sudo fn s xvice4 and xvice4 goodies to get all the extra themes, desktop backgrounds, and panel items like the widgets. Enter in the sudo password. Oh wait, I guess I'm uh, gonna do sudo Batman S Y U. Gotta synchronize. Oh, this is nice. It looks like the mirrors are being really slow. Alright, so this mirror apparently sucks, so we're going to have to change it. So, that was easy. Uh, gotta go into the mirror list. out the German server and since I'm in the United States we do that and then save by control X save modify yes Try this again. Here we go. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do this again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And this is going to take a while. 
but um, it's pretty straightforward here. It's going to update a lot of packages, so I will come back when that's done. Alright, so it's done updating, and that was pretty fast. It wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. But, um, let's try this again. Install x voice Install it all. Yep. Yep. Install everything. And during the update I saw that I was updating Flash too. So you do get Flash out of the box still. Which is pretty cool. flying through the installing is, which is pretty good. Don't have to wait long at all. Alright. And to install the, the uh, login manager, it's pretty easy. And to enable it, because it's not it doesn't start off by itself, the, this command. And that should be it. So if I reboot. Should be it. Alright, that was weird. Virtual box was just like having a hiccup there for some reason. But uh, here we go. Cross our fingers. Bam. Look at that. LXD came up just fine. Detected my user's name. It has detected my x installation. And let's log in. And that didn't do anything. Let's do that. Alright. Let's use the default. Sweet. So you just get a very basic X Face installation. You don't have any browser uh, graphics or office. You don't get anything. So that you have to install by yourself, including printer support. Which uh, it's not hard to do. But um, yeah, let's just install. I think your is in here, right? Uh, am I spelling it right? Oh, we spelled wrong. Alright, yo, your, or whatever, the AUR repo is not installed. So you have to install it by yourself. And it's easy. And what I like to use search the AUR is 
a utility call that um oh man what I need is the uh, base delve package I think That's what I needed. So you need this in order to install things from the AUR. So I install this GUI because I don't really like to uh, memorize too many commands and it just has you press numbers to do things that you'd like to do. I think it's on your system? Yep. Here we go. You can search and install. So what I'm gonna do is just install Firefox. Gives you all these uh, options. You can install different by just doing like that. I'm just gonna install Firefox. from here you should just be able to uh, access the internet yay and look at that flashes right out of the box so yeah you should do this if you want to know what you have installed on your system if you like building your own system sort of and um, you just start customizing this if you want. And it's very, very fast. Very, very snappy. So if you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.